but you can't take the dough when you go home. Hey, good morning. Well, all month long we have been celebrating Black History Month by highlighting people who have made an impact on Black history or as we say around here, American history. Ben Vereen is an actor who has been in shows such as House of Pain, Law and Order Criminal Intent, Oz, Star Trek, The Next Generation, The Jamie Foxx Show, and The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And the list seriously goes on. He has starred in multiple movies and nominated for multiple awards and won multiple awards. And he was the star in the groundbreaking miniseries, Roots. Well, at least you all right, thanks for joining us, Ben. It's such a pleasure to speak with you and have you. So I'm going to hop right into this interview. And I want to know, you know, um, Roots, it, again, it's, it's a household name. You know, we grew up watching Roots. And even though watching Roots growing up at a young age, it gave me a lot of mixed feelings. How does it feel to be a part of something that was just so iconic? So how, well, first, how did that? First of all, uh, we didn't expect it to be so iconic. Uh, we did it because it was important. And I'll talk about this in my lecture. Um, we wanted to do a, a piece that would inform the people about us. And Alex Haley and his brilliance did that by writing the book. And uh, we did it because we, we needed some sort of some sort of document. You know, my my Jewish brothers and sisters, they have they have film. We didn't have film. So we can't prove our Holocaust. So he opened up the book to a Holocaust. It's been, it was amazing, amazing. So when we got to doing the show, uh, we were just into it. Matter of fact, the crew was into it and devoted to it. Mm. Silence on the set. I bet, yeah. I, I, can't, yeah. I yeah. can't imagine. You know, yeah, well, and, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, you're rattling those bones, those old bones. Right. Hmm? And you know, as uncomfortable as uh, I was watching certain scenes from Roots. It just became so realistic and something that I, I, I can't say I can identify with it, but I, I, in a sense I could, you know, because that is something that our ancestors went through. And as uncomfortable as I was, was watching Roots, you know, we, were, we weren't forced to watch it, but you know, we, it, we were um, kind of put in a position of where we felt as we needed to watch it by like the elders in my family, you know, and, and something I want to introduce my children to is the miniseries. And I said I was going to do that and I think they're of age to where I want them to watch and kind of understand their history and know, you know, pretty much uh, what their ancestors had to go through, which wasn't really that long ago. So I, I just thought that it was so iconic and groundbreaking for that time, you know, so to be a part of history like that, to, to bring something like that to life is amazing. You know, how was it just, you know, working during those times? Was it like, uh, did you feel a sense of taboo, if that makes any sense? Because that was pretty much in the late 70s. Was that the time frame? Yes, no, we felt a certain, uh, a sense of urgency. Mm. And after doing Roots, I look around, of course we're celebrating Black History Month this month, and my want, is that, you know, I, I, keep, I keep pointing to the Jewish brothers and sisters, they have a thing called Seder. And what they do is they put out certain foods that were about their, their freedom from, from uh, Egypt, the, mm -hmm. the crossing out of Egypt into the desert where we're going. And they remember every year and they sit around a table and they talk about it. They read books about it, phrase about it. I my want is that we would do that as a African-American culture. Mm -hmm. We would sit around with our children and our, and our elders and just put out foods that would remind us of the tragedy that we went through and read slave letters. So we keep that, that, that that's a constant reminder. This could happen again and it will not happen to a people such a sensitive subject and I'm just so glad that I'm able to discuss it with you. Um, it's you're, a serious subject. Yeah, you're also going to be discussing civil, the civil rights movement when you come to Tuskegee, right? It's amazing that right there in Alabama is where it all started. Right, right. 
Yeah, lots of rich his history there. So um, you got such amazing history. And thank you for inviting me in. Oh, it's such a pleasure. We can't wait. And that is going to be when? February the 18th, right? That's correct. Okay, so I hope that you guys go to Tuskegee and, and check this out. It's going to be at 6 p.m., yes. right? And we'll have that information on our website and our Facebook page. And I hope that you guys go to this event, and it is free. And you can learn a lot of information from Ben. Ben, again, yes. it's such can a pleasure. Cannot beat the price. So do you have any projects that are in the, work, in the works right now? Yes, uh, here in New York City, I'm involved with a group called Care for the Homeless. And what they do is they provide health care. They, they give them their, their medical. And so we're having a big fundraiser on October 5th uh, because, you know, homelessness is, such, is upon us so long. And I, could, I can't understand why we haven't solved it. So we're doing that. Right. Well, thank you so much for just being so active in the community as well and taking the time to come and see us in this area in Alabama at Tuskegee University and, and talk to us about some things that's so okay. important to us and to our heritage and to our roots. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. My pleasure. You have a blessed, a blessed day. You too. Thank you, Ben.